Hi, this is Nancy Herald, and welcome to my show, High Road to Humanity. In every episode, I tell you powerful true stories filled with great wisdom that you can use in your own life as you strive for a higher road to travel. My featured guests will have their own unique stories to tell that enlighten your mind and your soul. So kick back, relax, and learn the secret to success when you take the high road. This is Nancy Yerald, and welcome to High Road to Humanity. I have a lovely lady here today. Jen Ward is here, you guys, and she is going to teach us about, oh my gosh, she is going to teach us a lot. She's from Australia, just so you know. So she's joining us from Australia today. She's going to teach us about tapping. And this is something I don't know that much about. She has a new book out. It's called SFT Tapping Protocol. Okay. Or I'm sorry, the SFT Lexicon. Um, and so that's the name of the book. We'll talk about this more. Uh, before I bring her on, I just need to talk. I just did a news with Nancy, but just because I need to talk about this stuff, I'm all jacked up this morning over the situation in Afghanistan. I'm going to ask Jen's opinion in a minute, but first of all, let me just read the headlines in case you haven't watched my news with Nancy, or you don't know what's going on. The U S troops uh, are injured in the ISIS attack on the Kabul airport, and this just happened today. The news comes just hours after defense officials begin war began warning about an increased terrorist threat from the Islamic State branch in Afghanistan. Now it goes on. It says multiple U.S. troops and civilians were injured when two explosions shook the area outside of the international airport in. Kabul in rapid succession this morning, and uh, today is Thursday, so this just happened, where the United States and NATO allies have been evacuating thousands of people from the city. The Pentagon confirmed we can um, confirm the explosions at the Abbey Gate was the result of a complex attack that resulted in a number of U.S. and civilian casualties. This is a huge situation. I Unfortunately, I felt that this was going to happen. There's a lot of people over there who are going to be stranded. I'm also concerned about our military guys, you know, who are there. And then there's another headline that I pulled because they're talking about ISIS-K. And if you don't know who ISIS-K is, um, what to know about Taliban rival, they're rivals with the Taliban. So here we have uh, in Afghanistan, the Taliban is in charge. Isn't that lovely? And then they have ISIS-K who is against them. And I just want you guys to know that they all hate Americans. So don't take this lightly. This situation is um, getting dire and more dire by the, the minute. And what I feel intuitively and what I just talked about on News with Nancy, and I won't get into the whole thing, you can watch it. But I just feel like... Um, and there's going to be uh, hostage situations, and I am concerned about getting our military out. And my biggest thing I want to say really quick before I bring um, Jen on is that all these people they're bringing over to Texas, uh, to these air bases in Texas, this is a bad situation. There are thousands of Afghanistans that they've brought uh, over, and we don't know, um, and they haven't been vetted. Okay, so I just want you to know these people are coming into our country and, you know, who are they? They are terrorists. And so, yeah, some of them helped us. Some of them didn't. Some of them slid in. You know, this is just a mess. And I just pick up that it was done intentionally, that they were taken to Texas intentionally, because that is more of a state that stands on its own. And um, whoever is working uh, behind the scenes, whoever is really in charge, is doing this on purpose. And so all this stuff is being done purposely. I just want you to realize that. And we need to stand up and we need to say something because Biden apparently is not our friend. Okay. So Jen, would you like to say anything about, cause you've got craziness <laughs> going on in Australia, right? Well, actually I'm, I'm trying to get over to Australia. My fiance is in Australia. So I'm still in New York. So oh, you're I'm, still in New York. You're not yeah, even home. I'm, I'm in the thick of all of these things. Oh my gosh. With you. So I'm right with you. And um, okay. what's really exciting to me is I have, I have some assistance for what all that frustration and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like tangled energy. It's like there's, there's, there's no way to fix it, right? There's, mm -hmm. what do you do? You just, everyone's just sitting on the sidelines, just watching, right? Right, right. And it's frustrating, but, right. but there's a way to take care of it energetically in a very, very, easy way in your own in your own world you can do the the taps because the taps 
tap into your um, 3D printer of your mind that send out intentions, your intention, your love and stuff. That is, is awesome. So you make your love bigger than the fear. Okay. And then, and so this is what I do all the time. I'm, I'm doing workshops. I, I have another one in a week from Sunday to, for, to dissipate all this energy of, of hate. Right. Well, and I don't have energy of hate. I, I stay no, balanced. You don't. It, oh, yeah. You don't have the hate. <laughs> no. But you watch it being, they hate Yeah, I'm energy. watching it all. Yeah. yeah so, so you, so it's good that you don't have the hate because you can take a different vantage point. That's right. Perfect. Of course you don't have hate. I wouldn't be talking to you here if you did. <laughs> right? So right. um so you use your higher awareness to get above all those people who are afraid with there's no there's no way to solve it by like being afraid and helpless. Right. So you right. take an overview and you just see them like you know how like um like a mother will see their kids fighting and what does she do with two kids fighting? Yeah. She's like put them in the room and let them hash it out. Yeah. It's, it's kind of not like that, but it's like dissipating all that hate. You can do that through the taps that we're going to share. It. I love and then it. It just, it just dissipates. I've been doing it. And, and it's, it's amazing that we haven't had more close calls for war. And, and if you were watching my work for the last few years, you would understand the cause and effect of that. So there are people dissipating all of this conflict in a very loving way. It's really powerful. Wow. I, I am so excited for you to tell us about this. Well, let me read a little bit about who you are. And I thought you were joining us. I'm glad you're in New York, but, but you are from Australia and, and you just, yes. yes I would be. You're going to be. Okay. I love it. I love it. Well, Jen Ward is a dynamic healer. She's an executive uh, coach and a group facilitator, and she's developed, um, she's devoted her life to helping others unlock their true potential. And she's also an accomplished writer and a poet. Um, she has uh, had an extraordinary and challenging personal journey. She's gifted, which has gifted her with a unique ability to perceive in energy and read Akashic records. I like that. I have a lot of people that come on that can do that. This along with her spiritual freedom, tapping techniques allow Jen to work with clients to see and remove the blockages um, to happiness and effectiveness that exists within any individual. Welcome officially to High Road to Humanity, Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me and thank you to your listeners. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Well, talk to me, tell me your story. How did you tell the audience? I mean, how did you even get into this whole thing about tapping? <laughs> well, because I was so messed up. I was, I come from an abusive home. I was never loved as a baby. I, my mother cursed me on my birth she bored me and and th through um alcohol so it was amazing that I was born normal and um and so nine brothers and sisters I'm the youngest and everything just a really really awful existence right so wow. and then I wasn't taught anything I just existed there and imagine a baby a child with no instructions they just no, no one talking to them. They just followed along with a group and that's it. And then I was sent out into the world and I had no tools to survive. Mm -hmm. So it became really tough, but that was good for my spiritual development because I learned subtle lessons and stuff. And I could read people really well because of the dysfunction of the family. Mm -hmm. So these are all the things that I can help other people with. So now that I, I'm, and I was locked up, starved, and tortured by a sociopath for a year. And that was great. <laughs> that was great for my teaching because he actually sensory deprived me. So I didn't get to interact with anyone for a whole year. And it really heightened my sensitivities. Oh, my gosh. So when I went to massage therapy school, I learned that I could move energy with my intentions. Mm -hmm. And I could, like... Um, see blockages and pain in people's body and just break it up with my my intentions for them mm -hmm. and so the spirit guides that I work with said if you can do it with one person you can do it with seven billion so so when I came back from being starved and tortured for a year I thought I was a retarded boy and I was very simple and stuff oh my goodness and the only therapy I had was I knew how to tweet I helped the celebrity find her lost dog on Twitter and a relative taught me how to tweet. So I would send out these, these, these 
original quotes all day long. Just, I couldn't sleep. All I did was do this 24 seven for years. And then, then they changed the algorithms of Twitter. I couldn't figure out how to do it anymore. So I went to Facebook and started writing these beautiful sets of tips. So the way I got better was I, I ran into a few healers who said, you know, my spirit guide said that my spirit guide said that whatever I can do for you, I need to do for it because you're important. Right. And when I was on the property, I was told by my spirit guides that I was, I had a purpose, I had a mission, and mm -hmm. I, I was going to help the multitudes. So that's right. what I'm well, and, and we got to go to commercial break here in just a second, but I just uh, want to say that um, a lot of the stuff that happened to you, uh, not as traumatic, but I had a traumatic childhood too. And it's interesting. And I've been in in relationships that have been, you know, with narcissistic people. But what it does is, and I don't feel sorry for myself by any means, it, what it was, it was a learning experience. And I didn't know it up until this point. It was a learning experience, just like you to help other people. So, oh, you have to go. But the thing is, you can break those patterns with that. Right. Impulse. Yes. We'll talk about that when we come back. Yeah. You guys, I'm here today with Jen Ward. Um, she has, I don't have her book in my hand, but it's called the SFT Lexicon. This is Nancy Yearout. This is High Road to Humanity. And we'll be right back. Yep. Hi, this is Nancy Yearout. And this is High Road to Humanity. I'm here today with Jen Ward and she's telling her story. You know, so, okay. So, I get everything up to this point. Now, how did you learn to tap? How did you learn about this? Like who so taught I, you this? Yeah, so so tapping actually originated by the um, Australian Aborigines. Okay, and they, okay. um, they would go out into the um, bush and they took this white person and he, um, he watched, they never got injured and they would do this tapping on their head and tapping on their chest and then they would never get injured if they hurt themselves. And he asked him about it and he developed this whole protocol about it. And I went to someone who was teaching that and, and then from that, it, um, piggybacked into what I do, which is like, they do it just for the physical well-being, but I do it, the SFT stands for spiritual freedom technique, for uh -huh. any emotional issue, mental issue, um, past experience. So you can get free of those narcissistic relationships with the protocol I made, and it's in the SFT lexicon second edition, mm -hmm. or it's on my website. Yeah. And I've worked on my deal and, and gone through some of that, but it is a way to do it. And I think it's really yeah. awesome. Well, so um, are you going to teach us some stuff today while you're here? Do you want to? Yes. Okay. We can do a tap for Afghanistan. Let's do it. What do we do? Gosh. Okay. okay. So, so you're familiar with what psychic energies are? Yes. Um, it's not freaky. That's just, it's just all the rhetoric, all the them versus us, all that stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to dissipate that. Okay. Because in my, I actually see this stuff. I feel other people's pain. I feel Me other too. people's suffering. Right. You're an empath because, like I am. You're an yeah. empath. And, yes. and okay. So I guess I should tell you that before we start. I'm an empath and I have clear cognizance. So I am a psychic. So I, I have a clear knowing. I have a connection to God. Good. Okay. All right. Perfect. Cool. So, so yeah. So good. When we do these tabs, you'll get a sense of it. And you can okay. reassure the listeners that nice, it's not. Nice. It's okay. Not all right. It's not creepy. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. And I do make noises. I'll try not to, but the noises are dissipating all the pain and anxiousness. Well, that's okay. Make... No, show me. Okay. So what do we do? Okay. I'm going to give you something to say. Okay. You're going to sit and the listeners can do, do say it three times. We'll tap in the top of your head. Okay. A fourth time will tap in your chest and right a here, fifth right time here. will tap in your abdomen. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> So we're going to do a very simple one because you're on the spot here. We dissipate all psychic energy of hate. We in all okay. Do I say that? We dissipate all psychic all energy of hate in this moment. No, in all moments. In all moments. We dis okay. <laughs> okay. So we dissipate all hate in all, all moments. Can you, can you write it down really quick? Cause it's that. It's It'll be paused before in our moments, though, because that's when I pull the stagnant energy. Out. All right. So we dissipate all psychic energy of hate in all moments. Yep. All right. So what? Do we, so how do we do this? Talk to me. Say it now. We dissipate all psychic energy of hate. 
in all moments. Again, (laughs) we dissipate all psychic energy of hate in all moments. (laughs) Again, we dissipate all psychic energy of hate in all moments. Okay, we dissipate all psychic energy of hate in all moments. We dissipate all psychic in our abdomen. We dissipate all psychic energy of hate in all moments. That's good. You're done. I'm good. Okay. Once you get to the belly, people want to keep saying it because it feels so good. Once it you does. Get it's like, I feel like you accomplished something. Okay. You did. Okay. <laughs> So, so talk to us about what we just did. So affirmations, it's a form of an affirmation. Okay. And it's like affirmations don't work sometimes because the ego is saying, oh, you're mad at this, you're mad at this. And the ego will work against us. So the uh-huh. tapping taps into the brain beyond the ego and okay. says things that the brain, the ego is going to tell you not to believe. And it bypasses the ego in doing okay. that. It's okay. really powerful. It is very powerful. Now, so us doing that really helped um, the yeah. hate that's going on in the world, the energy. And it's almost like saying a prayer or whatever and getting that energy out. Now, how is the tapping just uh, bypasses the ego? That's the whole well, thing. Well, your, your, your brain is a 3D printer. It manifests mm-hmm. everything that you think. And so when people create things by default, when they're like, so this is a way to get your attention off of you know, Afghanistan in a way that adds, adds fuel to the fire. Mm-hmm. So it, it pulls that energy out and then it allows the thing. And if you do it for everybody, it's pulling everybody's energy out. So it just has to fizzle out on its own accord. Okay. And if you, we've been doing this for all these, all these different things, these factions and stuff that, you know, mm-hmm. that have cause fear and and division in us and okay so this you is- so you okay so let me back up a little bit i want to ask about this you say that you're a reincarnation of madame blavatsky yeah. um what makes you certain about your connection with her i mean talk about that because i saw i did print out so i'm a book girl and i but i printed out some of this and i saw a picture of her in here and you look very similar to her i know I know. I, I is, didn't want to believe it because she's so homely. And then I get a little older. I get like 15 years older and I look exactly like her. Look exactly like her. Yeah. So talk about that. What is what is that? And here she is. And I'll just show you this picture. If you're watching <laughs> me on YouTube. Well, no, I thought this was fascinating. This is Jen and this is the lady. So mm-hmm. how did you find out about her? And what's that story? Talk about this. Well, what was interesting when I met the sociopath um, before, before I went and, and got locked up with him, I, I was drawn into his, his um, whatever, web of all he believed and everything, because I'm an empath, so I could feel all his crazy and everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so before I went to him, it was like my spirit guides were working with me to prepare me. I really believe that I stopped him from doing something really awful in the world. So they sent me kind of as a as an agent to like dissipate that one and he only took it out on me instead of the masses so so they had to prepare me and they told me how strong I was by telling me that I didn't want to believe it because she's so homely but I do look kind of like her I look exactly like her and um if you look at the book I have a book and our profiles are perfect but anyways her first book was was um was published in my hometown, which I didn't find out till recently, Rochester, New York. And she talked about Rochester in her first edition of Isis Unveiled. She talked about this huge higher energy coming into the world through Rochester, New York. And and that's the work I do. And she talked about rapping. And people didn't know what what rapping was, but it's actually the tapping that I do. Okay. Yeah, and there's there's other coincidences. Like she talks really fondly about Australia and what a spiritual site Australia is. And now I find my soulmate, the love of my life. You know, I haven't dated in 20 years because I thought I was a monk and stuff. And then I meet this man who's who gets me and right. he can handle the energy. And he's in Australia and we're we're 
going over there and we're doing all this great work for humanity now. Right. Well, there's a lot of craziness, not to get too much off the, the subject, but there's a lot of craziness right now in Australia. I did a psychic reading for a lady who was a healer yesterday in Australia. It was the first one I've done uh, for somebody over there. And she was really, um, you know, everybody's inside. And she said that they have vaccinated all the children and a few have died. And it's a real bad situation over there right now. Yes. So what's perfect about that is that's why I teach what I do. That's why I give what I because people don't know who to trust they don't know who to believe they don't know what side is good or bad or whatever mm -hmm. you don't have to know anymore you can and you don't have to figure it out because we don't get all the information right so so you we teach people through the sft lexicon how to tap into their own direct knowingness and do the task for what they want and they may not realize how empowered they are but by keep doing this work they can get empowered and they don't have to like be afraid or, or or they can bow out of yes the them versus us that we're all seeing and the craziness there's like a real intention to not let us be aware mm -hmm. and not let us be individuals right so the work i do is to help us be able Become to come that. that yeah and that's interesting so when you do that it changes the energy it it absolutely does we are you know love love is the soup that we all swim in and stuff mm -hmm. so the more love we have for everyone the more we're all connected and the more we can uplift each other through our love i can love anybody i do love everybody i love you right. i love all your reader your listeners yeah it's sure. just it's i know it's just so wonderful and you yeah. You feel that with me right now. Well, and I'll tell you how I got it. I got it through my connection with God. And that's why I'm really big about everybody connecting with the divine. You can call them God source, whatever you want to do. Absolutely. But yeah, I feel like when you connect every single day and it's so important, then it changes you completely. It changes you energetically. It changes you. You're more calm. You're more peaceful. You're happier. You're more joyful. It changes everything. We got to go to commercial break, you guys. I'm here today. Today with Jen Ward. Uh, we're going to talk more about tapping when we come back. This is Nancy Yerald, and I'm back here with Jen Ward, and we're talking about go a little bit, talk a little bit about a little bit more about Madame uh, Blavansky. What was her? So she is somebody who created this. She called it wrapping, but she knew about this a long time ago. Is what you're well, saying? She, she actually, she actually is created the Theosophy movement. Um, what really? her intention was to empower all of women. She created the spiritual group, which was like her pure intention was to empower women. And she oh, figured wow. men, men had all this access to that. So she was going to teach them how to be more sensitive, like psychic and, and uh, everything. But right. the problem is her pure intention got derailed and then it got to be made sinister and added all this bad stuff to it. But that wasn't her intention at all. And and um, I, I feel like I'm almost back here to to undo all the damage that was done with her work because I feel like she was shut down intentionally. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. yeah, because she knew, and then she was shut down because they saw what she was doing. Right, and and so in this, that's why I'm so my intentions are so pure because I don't want to create a group this lifetime. I want everyone to be individualized and not create a group because I know if I create a group, someone's going to like be stronger, smarter, whatever, or right. cleverer than me and take over it. Right. So I just want to empower all the individuals, wherever they are in their home, in their, in their own lives to tap into God. Well, yeah, that's what we're doing. And you know what? You and I are on the same um, page. You're just doing it a little bit differently mm -hmm. than I do. I tell people to bring the light down through their head, through their body and connect that way and to connect to Mother Earth because of her energy. So I bring the light down every day and I bring the light up from the earth and yes, just connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what and, and it's connecting and it's connecting to a higher power and a higher source and a higher vibration. Mm -hmm. Um now, when you're, so what, what's another tapping thing that we can do? I love this stuff. You guys. What's something else we can do? Like if we've got stuff in us that we need to get rid of. <laughs> we remove. <laughs> oh, so let's do it for you personally. Okay. Can, can we say a swear word or no? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yes. Okay. You can swear on my show as long as it's with good intention. What, do it, I need to write down? Very good intention. Okay. Do I need you to write need down to, something? Yes. 
What do I write yes. down? Um, um, we nullify all contracts. Okay, wait a with minute. Assholes. We know. <laughs> Oh my God, we know, <laughs> we nullify, oh my God, <laughs> I can hardly write this. <laughs> we nullify all contracts. Man, and I've had a lot of assholes in my life, let me tell you. I know, you're going to feel so light after this. <laughs> we nullify all contracts with assholes in my in all, life, no, in my in life, all moments. In, in, all, all, in all moments. Yeah, because the, in all moments, in that moment is where you're with God every moment. Oh, so, okay. So we nullify all contracts with assholes in all moments. Is that it? And, pa and pause before in all moments. Yep. Okay. All right. So what do we do? I'm re this is great, you guys. I'm <laughs> loving so this. <laughs> <laughs> Tap my head. Okay. So we nullify all contracts with assholes. <laughs> in all moments <laughs> keep going, keep, keep going. <laughs> yep. we nullify all contracts with assholes oh my god in all moments <laughs> we nullify all contracts with assholes in all moments <laughs> now go here we nullify all contracts with assholes in all moments by the abdomen <laughs> all right we all right. nullify all contracts with assholes <laughs> In all moments. Well, <laughs> I want to warn you about that one because you 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 have had a lot of assholes and stuff. So that might cause a huge release for you physically. So if you have to use the bathroom a lot today, um, just know that you're it's just this, you're not getting the flu or anything. Just, now would you pick up? Would you pick up that I had to go through a lot of stuff like you did in order to help other people? Well, that's formula, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course, but I've I picked up these the the misogynist and stuff that you had to deal with and I felt you holding it in your intestines so that's why I'm afraid when you release this you, you might think you have a stomach flu okay thank you but it, it's good it'll, and it'll continue to work and stuff and then what's really interesting is when you see some of these things just fall away it's like someone will apologize to you that you don't even expect and like do I need to do this again or am I no, good never again Never. Again. Oh my gosh. Because you, you did it in all moments. Your, your, your brain knows all moments. And then if you did it again and again, you would make it a mental thing and then it wouldn't work as well. It wouldn't work. Oh my God. You can do it with, you can put everyone's name in it. There's whole protocols. It's called the energetic cleanse on my website. Right. Genuine What's your website? Tell everybody your website. Genuinehealing.com with a J like genuinehealing.com okay yes and there's a look under the protocols there's an energetic cleanse and what you do is you take this worksheet and it's like a mad lib you just put the 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 guy's name in that you want to get rid of yeah and you do all the taps just like we did with every single tap okay so you, you'll take back so so you know how they take a piece of us yeah yeah you're going to get that energy back. You're going to, you're going to be so more whole and everything, even though you are whole, and then you're going to get rid of all the stuff they put into you. Interesting. Because Interesting. they're good. Because I, I, that's all I know too, besides my fiance, that's all I know is those kind of relationships. And they're good at shoving their anger in, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, and as impasse, as impasse, we take it on and see, it took right. me years. I don't know how long it took you, but it took me I mean, 50 years before I realized that I was such an empath and that what was happening and that that energetic attraction to narcissistic people, because I'm always wanting to take care of people. It took me years to figure that okay. out. So that pattern, I know, and you don't look 50, by the way, I thought you were you. Yeah. even late 20s. So oh that's yeah, crazy. sure. So, I'm no, almost, really. I'm almost 60, just so you know. Oh my gosh. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Couple more years. Couple more years. Oh I'm 58. I'm 58. I, I never tell my age on the on the uh on this on the show, but that's how old I am. Yeah. yeah. We're the same age. Oh my gosh. Because <gasps> we're supposed to be here at the same time. Yes. Oh yes. It wasn't time for you earlier. This is why you're expounding now. And those no. patterns that you have, those are called engrams. They're called so what? Engrams? E N G R A M S engram. Mm. And so you remove all engrams, which means those patterns are habits of abuse. Yeah. 
you want to do it or do we have yeah time? let's do it no <laughs> you guys this is the greatest thing ever I okay because i got rid of all the assholes <laughs> <laughs> i'm having ready? a ball all right what do i do <laughs> jen what do i do now jen we remove all engrams of abuse in okay our hold on <laughs> Okay, I can hardly contain myself here. <laughs> we remove all engrams of abuse of abuse in all moments. Pause in all moments. I got that Good. part down. <laughs> You're doing great, by the way. I don't. I don't usually in private sessions. I don't let people like write it down. So feel privileged. Oh, know. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> I feel privileged that you're here and we're doing this. Oh. All right. So here, so I just start, right? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Hold on. I got to move my little, all right. We <laughs> remove all engrams of abuse in all moments. <laughs> no, I feel it really. Listen, so that's why I'm making noises. So don't we remove <laughs> all engrams of abuse in all moments. It's okay. Just keep going. <laughs> One more time on the head. We remove all engrams of abuse in all moments. Now here, we remove all engrams of abuse in all moments. We remove all engrams of abuse in all moments. Well, Jen, I feel bad that you're taking it on. Oh, please, please. This is what I do. So you take it on. I'm not taking it on. I'm just paying it. You're, you're taking it through. You're taking yeah, it through. I'm just by me seeing it you're getting to experience it and and that your body is getting validated so that's what pain is it wants to be validated for all the suffering it went through so I when see. when your body sees that i'm i'm with you and i i see you i validate that then it can go just go and that's what my private sessions are about i validate all that pain and just we get rid of it you don't need it anymore you've learned what you needed to learn from it so it's releasing and God, I feel better Absolutely. too. Just so you know, you guys, and I'm not being weird here. I feel like totally different. You, you are different and you'll sense your, your confidence. Now you do have something. I, I don't mean to be rude by reading you, but I just do want to. You can read you. me. It's fine. <laughs> I don't you, read people, but I just see an energy. Your the skin on your energy field. You know how we have an energy field. Mm -hmm. Your way chi is broken. So can we just fix that for you? Sure. What do we do? <laughs> okay. You're going to have to write this one down because you're not going to get this one on your own. Nobody Go ahead. What is we it? We, we repair and strengthen. Okay. Hold on. We repair. I had no idea this was going to happen today. So this is really awesome. God bless you. Okay. Uh, we repair and strengthen. <laughs> yes. Our way chi. Our way chi. Mm -hmm. Perfect. In all moments? Yeah. See how good I've gotten? <laughs> yeah, bro. You're going to be teaching this. You should come oh to my one of my God. workshops. No, I would love it. Oh, my God. Okay. So here we go. God, I can really breathe here. I can feel you tapping into my energy, just so you know. I can feel that. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I know, but I, yeah, but I can, I can feel it. All right. So we, okay. So we repair and strengthen our way no, chi. Yeah. We repair and strengthen our Wei Chi in all moments. We repair and strengthen our Wei Chi in all moments. Now, do I go here? Three. You do one more. We repair and strengthen our Wei Chi in all moments. We repair and strengthen our Wei Chi in all moments. We repair and strengthen our Wei Chi mm. in all moments. Mm. So th what that's doing is creating a spaciousness around you. So people can't come into your face anymore. You have this natural buffer that that's your space. So people have done that to you. They, you know how they feel is really uncomfortable when people are really close to you? Yes. It's because they're coming into your energy field because you didn't have that natural buffer of your energy field so now we've we've put that in there so people won't irritate you as much they're not in your your energy in my field. bubble yeah now i will tell you this and i have a lot of um because i am a child of god and i am doing this work and i don't know if you've had this 
Um, oh gosh, we have to go to commercial break. Let me do that. And we'll talk about it when we come back. I'm so excited about this stuff, you guys. Oh my God. Okay. We're here with Jen Ward and her book. You guys got to check out her book because this is amazing. It's called the SFT Lexicon. This is Nancy Yerout. This is High Road to Humanity. And we'll be right back. Hi, this is Nancy Yerout. And this is High Road to Humanity. I'm here today with the amazing Jen Ward, who's healing me over here. And this is amazing stuff. Um, give out your website. Uh, you've got a workshop coming this weekend. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how do people how do people sign up? Because I may do this. They just go to my website, genuinehealing.com with a J. Okay. And it's going to have um, lots of tapping and lots of information on how to like be more present in the moment and how to connect better with God. We don't use the God phrase a lot, but it's there. It's implied and everything. Okay. So we call it source or, but it's how, how to be empowered with God's love in every moment. Wow. Yeah. And you know, we're energetic beings and and people forget that we are made up of energy. We're made up of chakras and the traumatic experiences that we have in childhood and through our lives really affect us energetically. And um, so thank you for all of that. I have a quick question I wanted to ask you. um, And it was something before we, I was thinking before we went to break, Um, you know, I've had a lot of people who, um, because I put myself out there and I do connect Mm -hmm. with God and, and, you know, a lot of the dark, you know, is always trying to attack me. Um, (laughs) Yeah. And so what do you do about the psychic attacks or have you had that as well? Or do you teach Mm -hmm. some of that or what's, what do you, what do you suggest on that? Oh, well, so when I went in to do my first poltergeist, I was terrified and stuff. Right. so the, the adepts work for me, it's so simple. You can do this. You make your love bigger than the fear. And, 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 and so that's it. But you can also do some tasks with it. Okay. So I think you want to do more like, you don't want people to come into your energy, right? Right. Well, people um, are sending me dark energy. I've had that. Oh, I've had entities attack themselves. I don't like to get into the whole thing. I have to call okay. and say, can well, you remove it? You know? <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm a badass in energy. God bless you. I, 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 may, I, may be a, I may be really like simple in this lifetime, thinking I was a retarded boy and everything, but I'm a badass in energy. And so I've been trying to stop from helping people this way. So let's do this tap for you. Oh, wow. Okay. Do I need to write again? Yeah. Yes. This one you're going to want to, you want, you're going to want to take this one in. You're going to feel right. this. One. All right. Let's get, what is it? What am I saying? We knock all attackers on their ass in all moments. Oh, wait, no, this is better for you. It says we knock all attackers out of my energy in all moments. Yeah. Cause they're on me. No, they're it's, not. not. I mean, not they're right not now. now, not now, but they they're were. Not, no, they're not able to anyway. You, I don't think people, the world doesn't know how deep I work yet. It's like, you'll see there's, there's a huge shift. I'm knocking them out. Like, like as we're talking and I'm being really polite with you, yeah. I'm doing like this, this, and like I'm, I'm flicking them off you. Because they see how light I am. So they're trying to get me. No, they can't. They can't. But they can't. Especially you did those tasks, your, your force field is protected now. Oh. And the work I do is permanent. It's not like, oh, you have to come back in, in five days or. Oh my God. I love it's you. Like, You're oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's what the world needs. The world needs a technique where they can empower themselves, yes. where people don't attack them. And they yes. don't talk about all these psychic attacks, but when people talk behind your back or whatever, yeah. it's a psychic attack. Or when they try to like put you down. Or yeah. Like people who, who are jealous of you. Yes. They're all psychic attacks. Right? All right. Here we go. So, <laughs> all right. We knock all psychic or we knock all attacks do i say psychic attacks or just all attacks? let me let me read what you got because i forgot already we knock all attacks out of my energy in all moments <laughs> you want to do it a little stronger you want to do it a little stronger because you don't believe this could work we knock all attackers on their ass in all moments you like that one better i do i do <laughs> you really 
disappointed. I'm kind of a badass too, actually. We knock all attackers on their ass. But you see, the thing is, you can't use this as like, you can't use this in a dark way. This is only. No, no, in a light way. Right. So if I say we knock all attackers on their ass, do I say out of my energy still? Do it like this. We knock all attackers in my energy on their ass in all moments. All attackers. No, don't even say in their energy because it's really subtle. We, so it's implied in energy, the ones that are attacking you. Okay. We knock all attackers, we knock all those who are attacking us on their ass in all moments. Okay. That well, way it's clear. You got to make sure that you're not going to violate any spiritual laws. With that. Okay. So one more time. We, <laughs> no, no, we, you're fine. We knock, I, I have to write this the way you tell me. We knock all. Those, all those attacking us all those attacking us on their ass <laughs> <laughs> by the way if the listeners are doing this with us they're getting the same kind of relief i love it i know we knock all those attackers those who are attacking us on their ass in all moments yeah <laughs> all right i'm ready <laughs> you guys do this with me come on all right we knock all those attacking us on their ass in all moments we knock all those attacking us on their ass in all moments we knock all those attacking us on their ass in all moments we knock all those attacking us on their ass in all moments and we knock all those attacking us on their ass in all moments so the problem with doing this is I found another one for you. So as soon as I see that, I see another one. So do you mind if we do this one for no, you? No, I feel like I'm being healed. God bless you. you I'm going to be, I'm going to be, thank you. Well, you're so worthy. Thank you're you. so worth it. We remove the knife from my back, from our back. And um, because it's really literally there. You literally have, and you're energy- I have a knife in my back, don't I? Don't say it anymore. After we take it out, don't ever say it again. But yes, I just saw it. All right. So we remove the knife from our back in all moments. <laughs> You're going to feel so different. You might even feel the energy in your hands. Do you feel the energy in your hands opening up yet? Yeah. Well, you know, I heal. I know. So do you feel it's. Yeah, I do. I, yes, that's yes. It's warm. I'm sweating actually. Yeah. My yep. fingertips are sweating. Okay. Oh, you, you guys, this has been like the best show ever. And I don't <laughs> even know what to say. Okay. So here we go. Um, we remove the knife from our back in all moments. <laughs> we remove say the it, knife. Say it with intention. Just not like it's words. You're telling the universe. You're just telling everything. All right. All right. Let me start over. We remove the knife in our back in from all moments. Back. Not from my back. From. Because you want to get it out. All right, we remove the knife from our back in all moments. Good. We remove the knife from our back no. in all moments. You're showing them how the ego, so the ego's making you emphasize from now as a form of a sabotage. So you're showing the listeners all these things. This is awesome. So just say it matter of fact, like Spock, we remove the knife from our back in all We moments. remove the knife from our back in all moments. See how that's stronger? Mm -hmm. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. We remove the knife from our back in all moments. moments. So you weren't the only one. Some of the people who were listening and doing it, they had something removed as well. You, you might notice a, um, a more looseness in that part of the middle part of your back. And yeah. so I don't know if you do yoga or anything. Do you mm-hmm. do any? I stretch and I work out. Yeah. yeah. So you'll notice your stretch will be better now. Incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> That's just absolutely incredible. Jen, I don't even know what to say. And so when you do these workshops, like you've got one going this weekend, um, is it is it two days or is it one day or no? Longer? It's just three hours. Like like what I do is like so concentrated 
probably people wouldn't want much more than that. So three hours of instruction and, and a lot of tapping to like be more in tune with God and uh, themselves and remove all blockages. It's really, it's really wonderful. People have just, yeah. You are just an amazing healer, I, you know, and I always thought it was really cool that I could do stuff, but you can do a lot. Wow. There's no competing with there's no competition. Everybody is different. Everybody's different. Yeah, your My gifts, are, gifts are different than yours. Are amazing. So, so that's what male energy tries to get us to do, to have a pissing contest with each other. Um, but I'm not going to do that with you because I honor you as a sister and anything I have is yours. Same here. Thanks. I honor you and, and uh, your gifts. And you're exactly right. Yeah, because my gifts are different than your gifts. But we're all here. And I just want to say this. And I want you to talk about it, too. We're all here to help humanity at this time. Absolutely. Talk about this time, because this is what I feel. And then, Jen, you take it away. we got about three minutes. I want you to talk. I feel like we're getting ready right now. We're all learning. We're doing what we have to do. We're clearing ourselves. We're getting all this handled. And then I'd say by 2023, it's going to be a different world. Absolutely. So um, I feel like the last few years has been like, <laughs> this is kind of like, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it feels like we've went through the book of the revelation and mm -hmm. stuff, and we've gotten through it. And it doesn't feel like we've gotten through it. But the fact that I'm here, and we're here, and we're still helping people as individuals means that we have, we have thrived. Yes. And it really looks chaotic and scary out there, but that's just that's just the um, dust settling and everything. People mm -hmm. now are woken up and they're mad and they want to be individualized. They want to be free yeah. and they're looking for tools to make them free. And that's why you do what you do. And that's why I do what I do. Right. And, and there's others of us out there who are helping individuals just get free. Right. Right. In their own way. Yeah. And it's amazing. I will tell you all the readings that I do. I mean, you know, everybody that comes to me, the biggest thing that I find is that they, they don't pray every day or they don't connect with God every day. They do it every once in a while, but this is an everyday thing. This is like brushing your teeth, connecting with God. Don't you well, agree? Well, I, I don't want to like, I, God is my everything so right like, me too is, right in every moment that's why yeah. in all moments yeah. so god is speaking to me if someone talks to me i i pay attention to what i'm supposed to do to help them in right. every moment so it's right. it's not mechanical it's it's always moving and the, and the 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 key is the love that love of god that yeah. love of source yeah. Yeah. and god loves everything yes and so of course we have to love everything or else that's that's why we're so perceptive is because we know God's love and we we honor that with our own perceptions. Does that we, yeah, well, no. And, and but I think, um, yeah, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. I, I think my biggest thing is everybody, people, a lot of people who call me are looking for the answers outside and the answers are within. Absolutely. I guess Jesus that's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say is, you know, the answers are within you and your individual connection with that higher vibration, with that so, higher love. Love is what I what I feel. What do you think, Jane? So, yes, and a tool you can use is like when anybody, like when you watch the news, ask, does it make you feel love or does it make you feel fear? Right. So go to the things that make you feel love. You make people feel love, they should go towards you. If what I say makes them feel love, Go towards me. Do more of what, you know, whatever makes you experience love more. Do more of that. Turn off the TV. Turn off the news. Stop the gossip and just nurture the ground, nurture the children. Take right. Take care of yourself. Well, yeah. And it, you, we need to know what's going on. I need to say this. We need yes. to know what's going on. And that's kind of why I do news with Nancy. But I give my intuitive take on it and then I let it go. Because yeah. you're right, you can't you can't uh, continue to think about it because then it becomes fear, and then that energy goes, you know. And we need to just do what we have to do and let that energy go. So, Absolutely. what what would you like to leave us with today? Gosh, I could have you back, and we could do a whole nother show. I'd like to. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, of course. I I'm happy to come back. Okay, so here's my little thing. Truth. You know how about vibrations? Like love is a vibration. Truth and love resonate at similar frequencies. So if you want to see more love in the world, give out more truth. Be honest. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
And there's a difference between being honest and being nasty. So what society is getting confused right now is they think being nasty is being truthful. It's not. It's being and nasty. Mm -hmm. Being truthful is ripping a bandaid of, off, but um, being nasty is an attack. And right. they're not the same. So people need to discern those two things. Right. What do you see for us in the next? You see uh, what I do, that things are going to get so much better in the next couple of years. And there'll be it'll be a whole different world, won't it, John? Absolutely. I, I see people being more empowered. I actually see a spiritual renaissance happening. Like, yes. Like people doing what they love to do, like music, sewing, teaching and doing it for the love of it and 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 not paying attention to what their neighbor is doing as much because or the money or the money or the it's money. not a right 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 i mean it's not that the money can't come because but it's like that's not the most important thing right exactly well i definitely will hope that you come back you guys her website is genuine healing with a j oh my goodness I lost my breath there. She's very strong. Her energy is really strong. And as an empath, I'm like, <laughs> but I'm so, God, I'm so um, grateful. So am I. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jen, for coming and, and healing me and doing all that stuff. And God bless you. Thank you for that. Thank you, and, thank you for being so kind to me and, and yeah. introducing me to your listeners. Yeah, we'll have you come back. Hey, you guys, it's Nancy Ural. Um, Hey, I forgot to promote myself. I get so excited about this stuff. <laughs> Go to my website if you want a psychic reading. That's how I can help you guys tap into your own intuitive abilities. It's nancyyearout.com and click on book and you can go to my calendar and book and, um, you know, say prayers, you guys, for all these people in Afghanistan right now, because it's a really situ serious situation. Remember to subscribe to the channel and um, God bless everybody. Have a terrific day. And thanks again, Jen. Thank you. Okay. God bless. All right. Everybody take care. Bye-bye. Keep the motion Can achieve your goal Let's hit the high road Hey you guys, join me next week on The High Road for more stories filled with wisdom, love, and hope for our future. Have a fabulous week and know that by staying on The High Road you will make it to your destination. Visit my website nancyyearout.com where you can book a private session to learn how to tap into your own abilities and check out my youtube channel it's nancy yearout's high road to humanity you can achieve your goal